But the Bible plainly states that they are demons and they are many people. Look at the woman, the daughter of Israel. She was all bound over, bent over. And Jesus said, which one of you having her said, how much more is this daughter of Israel who has been bound by the devil, stooped over? Perhaps arthritis. Today the medical doctors would say she had arthritis. That's a medical name. But Jesus would have declared it to be a devil. Today cancer, cancer is a medical name, comes from the word crab, got a lot of legs. They call it cancer. That's a medical name. Jesus would have said the devil. Of course, if anyone with a common school education knows a devil means tormentor, you've got a tormentor in your soul. See, your pastor, you've got a torment in your body. That's what I'm here for. See, all right, tormentor, devil, epilepsy. That's a name the medical science gives today. When the man brought an epileptic man to Jesus, he said, My son is the devil. And oft he times he throws himself into the fire and into the water. See where it was falling, pines away, pins out epilepsy. He said, The devil throws him in. And Jesus cast the spirit out, said, Come out of him. Is that right? The boy had the hardest feet, I guess, he ever had. He fell on the floor and was frothing there on the ground. They thought he was dead, but he said, He's not dead. And he took him up. He was just, the devil had thrown him into that tantrum before he left him. Tore him up. Many times it happens. Today, a Christian now, when they come and the devil has been cast from them, and they take words right away, and they say, oh, I feel to get healed. You believe what's told you. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing of the word. And God's here with his gift, confirming the word with signs following. See what I mean? One of the most marvelous things that I could think of right now, for just a little instance, just before coming, I was, well, I always, I'll be, get something else so that it'll, it won't take me just a moment. Back in the first part of my ministry, I don't know what these ministers here tell of other things, but this is one thing that happened that I know none of them here was with me when this happened. It was about the third beating I ever had, and my wife came out. She's a most backward bash. She's worse than my mother. And you know, she's bashful. And I told her, I said, I'm going to introduce you to the people tonight. And she was afraid to come. Afraid I'd really do it. And uh, she's just bashful and backward, a timid little country girl. And she came to the meeting, and she came down to meet me. And we'd been having there the tabernacle, oh, three or four hundred people, or a thousand maybe, in a big night. But this time, there was thousands there. The other night at the meeting, I was telling you about the newspaper they carried where that woman had been raised up from the dead, Mrs. Hardy Waldrop. The cancer dropped out of a man's neck, rolled across my foot. You believe me telling that just a few nights ago, Arkansas son, the Jonesboro carried the article, was in this meeting and Jones great big cross there. Twenty six thousand people at the meeting attended.